Hi, I'm Tim Longwell with Longwell Art, where we help you reignite your creativity for your health and happiness. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how I put text on the rare occasions when I need text on a painting. Because I'm bad at lettering by hand, and I'm definitely no sign maker. I had to find an alternative way of going about it. So here's how I go about it. Open your imaging software. Open the file of a picture that you took of your painting. Bring it in, and now you're at the point where you see me here. Now the first thing I'm going to do, and it'll be different in your software compared to mine probably, but the first thing I'm going to do in here is I'm going to go into my image size. And i got to go 20 here and 16 here. And we'll go up here to view, and we'll tell it to fit on screen and get it up there big enough that we can work with it. Now go into your text tool, hover over it, and click. But first off, we're going to type in the quote. And this isn't final. This is just getting us the text in place to where we can look at it, arrange it, pick the best font, and we'll go on to the next step. So bear with me a second as I type this in. Okay, so that kind of gives us an idea of our text. So now we have to figure out the right text size and type to fit the painting. As I turn off the layer so you can see, we're trying to bring attention to the painting and the feeling that is being described in the painting and in the words so that they come together. All right, now we have the text in place so that we know what text we have to fit on the painting that doesn't obstruct the sunset and what's going on that in the painting and at the same time accent the painting with the text so that they blend uniformly together. So what we're going to do is turn off the layer of text for a minute so that you can see what I'm talking about. You've got the effect here and although it's not real crisp and clear because the type of image isn't mattering because we're not printing the image, we're printing the text out. But we want this scene that's depicted here, we want the text to fit in this blue sky area so that we keep the foreground and that sunset that is described. So the first thing we've got to do is we'll bring the text back and we're going to have to consider our font size. So is one font size going to be enough? So we'll go up here and we'll start re-editing. Now we've got the text where we want it, but the text is still too big because if we add other edits to bring the text in line again, see and over here, in this area, it's still too tight, so we can't. We have to add the word water to it as well. Okay, now we're already as high as we want to go because remember, the text has got to be low enough at the same time to be in the frame. And this particular painting, they wanted this text right here emphasized. So we'll put that there, and we'll change this color, and we're going to tell it to use a different font color, and he chose red. But if you notice, when we do that, the red doesn't look right. So what we're going to do, and we don't have to worry about whether it's good with web color or image color for printing, because this is a painting, so the text doesn't matter because we're not painting in color. We're just learning the colors and font to use. And for now, we'll leave that. We can always come back to that later. And now we're going to select all of our text, and we're going to see if one more level of font will make it look better and we're going to start at the top with our fonts that we have available now it looks like something like that so it looks like calligraphy would be the way to go with this particular one move that up just a little bit and over and center it looks like the fonts the right size we don't have to worry about a bold or not so now we have our text and we're happy with that so now what we're going to do is we're going to go hide our background layer so we got the background because we know now it's going to print the way we want it and we go over here and we tell it print and you'll hit print and then once you print you wait for your printer to come out and you'll be set and ready for the next step which i'll show you what we're going to do now in the meantime what you want to do if you're following along or doing something similar is you're going to want to cut out the letters on what you printed so that they become a template where you can use to guide your paintbrush and on some of your letters, you'll have to leave a little bit of a space to hold like the inside of your O's in place or whatever. And then you can just paint over those and correct it when you make your other text. And that's it for how to do this. Now, you may not have a printer that prints as large as mine. 
And in order to do that, what you'll do is you'll just tell it to use a paper size and tell your paper to print it on multiple pages and then stick those up side by side overlapping onto your painting the way I'm going to do it with the full format printing. And that's it. It's just that simple for setting up your printing and getting ready to print text and put text on your painting. So in the meantime, if you found this information helpful, be sure and click the subscribe button and share this out with your friends. Check out the hints and tips in the videos that we have over here to my right. And most of all, until next time we see you on Create for Contentment, continue creating, continue enjoying your creativity, and be sure and have fun.